In this lesson, you will learn how to write the equation of a line that is parallel to a given line and passes through a given point. In our first example, the equation of the given line is y equals 3x plus 5, which is written in slope-intercept form. In this form, m represents the slope and b represents the y-intercept. Let's represent the equation of the parallel line in slope-intercept form as y equals m2x plus b2. Here, m2 is the slope, and b2 is the y-intercept of the parallel line. To write the equation of the parallel line, we need to find m2 and b2. The first step is to identify the slope of the given line. In this case, it is 3, right? So m equals 3. That's all the information we need from the equation of the given line. The next step is to find the slope of the parallel line. Remember, parallel lines always have the same slope. This means the slope of the parallel line equals the slope of the given line. So m2 also equals 3. The next step is to find the y-intercept of the parallel line. To do this, use its slope and the given point. Since the parallel line passes through this point, the point's coordinates satisfy the equation y equals m2x plus b2, so we can substitute them for x and y into the equation. Replace y with 7, m2 with 3, and x with 2. Now solve for b2. 3 times 2 is 6. Then subtract 6 from both sides to isolate b2. On the left, we get 1, right? On the right, these cancel, leaving b2. Therefore, b2 equals 1. Finally, substitute the values of m2 and b2 back into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace m2 with 3 and b2 with 1. That is it. This is the equation of the parallel line in slope-intercept form. Now, let's try an example with a negative fractional slope. We will also convert the equation to standard form after writing it in slope-intercept form. The given line is y equals negative 1 half x plus 4, which is in slope-intercept form. Represent the parallel line as y equals m2x plus b2. First, identify the slope of the given line. It is negative 1 half, right? So m equals negative 1 half. Next, find the slope of the parallel line. Since parallel lines have the same slope, m2 also equals negative 1 half, right? Next, find the y-intercept of the parallel line using its slope and the given point. Substitute the values of m2, x, and y into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace y with 8, m2 with negative 1 half, and x with negative 6. Now solve for b2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and negative 1 times negative 3 is 3, right? Then subtract 3 from both sides to isolate b2. On the left you get 5. On the right these cancel, leaving b2. Therefore b2 equals 5. Finally substitute the values of m2 and b2 back into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace m2 with negative 1 half and b2 with 5. This is the equation of the parallel line in slope-intercept form. To convert the slope-intercept form to standard form, first eliminate the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominator. On the left, you get 2y. On the right, distribute the 2. 2 times negative 1 half x is negative x, as the 2's cancel. 2 times 5 is 10. Then, Move the x term to the left by adding x to both sides. On the left, you get x plus 2y. On the right, these cancel, leaving 10. And there you have it. This is the equation of the parallel line in standard form. In the previous examples, the given line was in slope-intercept form, making it easy to identify the slope directly. In this example, however, the equation is in standard form. In this case, the first step is to convert the standard form to slope-intercept form to identify the slope. Start by moving the x term to the right by subtracting 2x from both sides. On the left, these cancel, leaving 7y. On the right, we get negative 2x plus 10. Then, divide both sides by 7 to isolate y. These cancel, leaving y by itself. Now the given line is in slope-intercept form. From here, you just need to follow the same steps as in the previous examples. 
Pause the video and try finding the equation of the parallel line. The next step is to identify the slope of the given line. It is negative 2 sevenths, right? So m equals negative 2 sevenths. By the way, you can also find the slope directly from standard form using this formula. Here, a is 2 and b is 7. So the slope is negative 2 sevenths, which matches our earlier result, right? If you remember this formula, you can skip converting the standard form to slope intercept form entirely. Next, find the slope of the parallel line. Since parallel lines have the same slope, m2 also equals negative 2 sevenths, right? Next, find the y intercept of the parallel line using its slope and the given point. Substitute the values of m2, x, and y into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace y with negative 1, m2 with negative 2 sevenths, and x with 3. Now solve for b2. Negative 2 sevenths times 3 is negative 6 sevenths, right? Then add 6 sevenths to both sides to isolate b2. On the left, to add negative 1 and 6 sevenths, first rewrite negative 1 as a fraction, which is negative 1 over 1, right? Then multiply it by 7 over 7 to get a common denominator. Now add the numerators. This gives us negative 1 sevenths, right? On the right, these cancel, leaving b2. Therefore, b2 equals negative 1 sevenths. Finally, substitute the values of m2 and b2 back into y equals m2x plus b2. Replace m2 with negative 2 sevenths and b2 with negative 1 sevenths. Remember, adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. This is the equation of the parallel line in slope-intercept form. To learn how to write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to a given line and passes through a given point, check the link in the description. But first, let's work on cases where the given line is horizontal or vertical. In this example, the given line is y equals 4. It represents a horizontal line crossing the y-axis at 4. A line parallel to this line must also be horizontal, written as y equals k, where k is the y-coordinate of the given point. Here the y-coordinate of the given point is negative 2, so k is negative 2. Therefore, the equation of the parallel line is y equals negative 2. If you graph this, the line crosses the y-axis at negative 2, passes through the given point negative 5 comma negative 2, and is parallel to the given line. In general, if the given line is in the form y equals a constant, the parallel line is y equals the y-coordinate of the given point. Try these. For the first one, the given line is y equals negative 7, which is a horizontal line. A parallel line is also horizontal, with the equation y equals the y-coordinate of the given point. The second one does not explicitly state the equation of the given line. It says the line is parallel to the x-axis. Note that the x-axis corresponds to y equals 0. So the equation of the given line is y equals 0, which is a horizontal line. A parallel line is also horizontal, with the equation y equals the y-coordinate of the given point. What if the given line is vertical? How can we find the equation of a parallel line in this case? The given line is x equals negative 1. It represents a vertical line crossing the x-axis at negative 1. A line parallel to this line must also be vertical, written as x equals k, where k is the x-coordinate of the given point. Here, the x-coordinate of the given point is 4, so k is 4. Therefore, the equation of the parallel line is x equals 4. If you graph this, the line crosses the x-axis at 4, passes through the given point 4, 0, and is parallel to the given line. In general, if the given line is in the form x equals a constant, the parallel line is x equals the x-coordinate of the given point. Try these. For the first one, the given line is x equals 6, which is a vertical line. A parallel line is also vertical, with the equation x equals the x-coordinate of the given point. In the second example, the line is parallel to the y-axis, which corresponds to x equals 0. So the equation of the given line is x equals 0, which is a vertical line. A parallel line is also vertical, with the equation x equals the x-coordinate of the given point. To learn how to write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to a given line and passes through a given point, 
check the link in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.